All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who were well. Peace and salutations to all the sins of Akiyam, enduring afflictions, making her calling, and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. It's the brother Azan. It's the brother Yitzhazaka. And uh, back with another one, going into a topic how do you grow? How do you grow? Low willing is edifying. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, Brakatham. To all the sincere listeners who may tune into this. Um, Start here in Peter. All right, brother. It's uh, 1 Peter 2 and verse 2. As newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. Mm -hmm. Desire the sincere milk of the word that ye may grow thereby. And what's the sincere milk of the word? Well, I think we can look the word milk. Because I don't think it, it might not give us that much, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it don't. Yeah, okay. But it really tells you within the context, you know, because it's like in verse one, where it says, laying aside all malice, guile, hypocrisies, envies, all evil speakings. So these are the things you're going to be laying aside mm -hmm. to do what? To desire the sincere milk of the word, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. 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 Um, it's, yeah, pretty much tell you what it is in the um, in definition. Mm -hmm. Galah 1051 for the less difficult Christian truth, which we know. You know, we're the actual Christians, you know, mm -hmm. as being servants of Yahweh Shai, you know, um, of the of the less difficult Christian truths, which is uh, not not being uh, not having God within you, not being hypocritical, you know, not having partiality, not envying, you know, not being wrathful, you know, not uh, reveling, you know, not rioting and banqueting, you know, um, not sowing unto the flesh, you know, departing from the flesh. You know, these are the of the less difficult things to do, you know. Ultimately, just uh, having base, basic qualities of, of goodness. You know what I'm saying? Like, they teach you in the world, just like, uh, treat others how you want to be treated. You know, mm -hmm. uh, put out what you want, put out back, you know? That's 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 basically, uh, you know, what the sincere milk is. Not just, you know, knowing, uh, you know, Revelations 13 and 9 and Isaiah 14 and 21, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. that's, not the, that's not the sincere milk. The sincere milk is uh, knowing the basic principles and fundamentals of operating within the spirit, you know, of our Lord. You have a chef, you know. You had something up? Mm -hmm. No, nope, that was that was it. Okay. Ah. So as so so that's the first thing. That's the first. That's the first key component is for us to desire the sincere milk of the word, which means the basic fundamentals of operating within the spirit of our Lord. You have a shot, my shot. You know? Mm hmm Yep. Get that Hebrews. Time. This is in uh, Hebrews 6. And the point is in uh, what, 1 and 2. This is Hebrews 6 and verse 1. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Hamashiach, let us go on into perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works, in a faith toward Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, verse two, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of Slaki, let me read that again. It says, of the doctrine of baptism and of laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment. Mm -hmm. uh, so it says, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Amashiach. What does this mean by leaving the principles of the doctrine of Hamashiach? Because we're not we're not going to actually leave the principles of the doctrine, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But actually um, embodying in them, you know what I'm saying? Like you you desire the sincere milk so much that you've grown to a certain level, you know what I'm saying? That's what it means by leaving the doctrine, uh, the principles of the doctrine of Hamashiach. You know, already having certain things instilled and installed in you, and uh, you know, pretty much uh, exemplifying it. You know, <clears throat> then it says, let us go on to perfection. Right. Because once you get to that, to that stage, you've grown to a point where you can just continue to uh, be abundant. You know what I'm saying? And uh, abounding, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, you know, bountiful. You know, that's how you you grow when you have when you're rooted, when you're rooted in your house. You know, you're rooted in him by, you know, having those uh, those basic principles of doctrine installed and instilled in you, you know. And it says, and not laying again the foundation of repentance, right? Because you've, you're 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 in that body now. You know what I'm saying? You you're not continually going back 
unto the flesh, you know, uh, until, where it's more that you have to fix. You know, you're 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 in the body of a mashiach, you're in that spirit. So ultimately, you've conquered over the flesh, you know, by by operating within the body of a mashiach. You know, it mm. says from from dead works in faith toward Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? So it's certain things that we're supposed to be uh, past, you know, on the doctrine of baptisms, because we're supposed to be resubmerged with our Lord Yahweh Shah, you know, mm. on, the, on the laying of the hands, uh, laying on the hands, because we're supposed to have no holy hands laid on us, you know what I'm saying? Through through the through the Holy Spirit, you know, mm -hmm. um, in the resurrection, in the resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment, you know, because ultimately mm -hmm. we know, uh, those who remain in the congregation of the dead will, you know, partake in the second death, you know, but we're supposed to be resurrected from death, you know, through life, which is the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah, my shot. We're not supposed to still be, uh, you know, indulging within the works of death, you know, and it's and of eternal judgment, right? Because uh, the eternal judgment for the saints is only good, you know, the desire of the righteous is only good, you know, so we shouldn't be, uh, you know, tampering with uh, our opportunity with uh, eternal salvation. You know, so these, this, this, this is a, uh, you know, this is the sincere milk of the word. You know, and it contains uh, what's the, the necessary tra traits for our spirit to progress. You know, that's the sincere milk. You know, you know, doctrine of baptism, the laying on of the hands, resurrection. Re being resurrected from the dead, you know, the, and, and the basic principles of the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, eternal judgment, you know, we supposed to uh, have have these things uh, instilled and installed within our understanding, and uh, you know, uh, continue to grow based upon that, you know. I was gonna say hmm. too. Are oh, you gonna ask him up? Can you read uh, twelve through fourteen too? Might as well. Kind of, cause you kind of gotta read that with. Hebrews six and one. You know, mm. a lot of times, uh, brothers, we we bring this out mm -hmm. without, but they really go with one and two. Mm -hmm. Jumping down to verse twelve, it says that ye be not slothful, but followers. Like your, uh, and, uh, five and twelve. So like your, oh, five and twelve. Yeah, okay, so like, yeah, yeah, that's so what like, you're saying. All yeah, right, God, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like because you know we brothers, we just bring out that mm -hmm. twelve, start at twelve most of the time, and read for the fourteen, but. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one and two from chapter six goes with it, you know. Right, right, right. So uh, going back, this is Hebrews 5, and you said 12? Con. Con. It says, for when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. And not of strong meat, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, ultimately, if you skip the basic principles of what uh, what spirit our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, wanted us to be in, you can't be his uh, disciple. You know what I'm saying? Like it tell you in uh, Luke 14 and 26, it tell you certain things that you cannot do mm -hmm. to be a disciple mm -hmm. of Yahweh Shah. You know, St. John 13 35 tell you, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you love one another. So, the, so it's basic principles that goes with the doctrine of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And if you don't have those basic qualities and those basic principles you can't you you can't um you can't eat strong meat with strong meat goes into uh the more deep mysteries of, of of the heavenly father you know the the more the more uh you know uh deeper understanding as far as like uh you know the heavenly father uh not doing away with none of his works not hating anything that he's created you know what i'm saying not uh, abusing your power you know, uh, knowing how to operate within uh, righteousness, knowing how to suffer, uh, t take suffering rather than give suffering. You know, like this, this is how you you, you learn le learning how to uh, be abased or exalted, you know, knowing how to uh, take what's convenient for you, be temperate. You know what I'm saying? Knowing how to ha knowing how to have uh, ultimate temperance and restraint. You know, these are some of the deeper mysteries. These these are the this, this some of the things that's considered strong meat. But you can't even get to those levels if you haven't embodied the first principles of our of our Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> you can't do that. You know, because you don't even you don't even got you're not rooted in Him. So how are you gonna grow within Him? You mm -hmm. know. Mm. That's right. I was looking at the NIV. You know, the brother mm -hmm. Karav. You know, he liked that one. Time. I read that one. Yeah, you got it, brother. This is in uh, Hebrews five and twelve NIV. It says, in fact. 
though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. Mm. You need milk, not solid food. Mm. You know, so it's, you know, basically uh, reiterating the same thing, you know, like the brother said, man, you know, the, like the sincere milk of the word, you know, that's something that uh, needs to be taught, you know, to brothers all right, who actually are uh, doing this work, you know, because uh, we're not only Lord willing, we those men, you know, but we're, we're shepherds. We're doing the work of a, of a shepherd, you know. But we're also the sheep, you know? So being that sheep, we also need to get fed, man. You know? It's like, you got it. No, you good. You good, huh? Yeah, kind. And I ain't even make a, uh, you made me think of too, some of the uh, weightier matters. Like you have what I said, mm -hmm. law, uh, the, the law, judgment, and mercy. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's other things that are, uh, you know, cause, uh, th those are some of the things that's considered as uh, strong, strong meat, you know? Having that mercy exercising proper judgment you know uh, exercising loving kindness and righteousness you know uh embodying the law by moving within the spirit you know kind so it's really just about being renewed man god that's really what it always <laughs> go back to you know what i'm saying renewal redemption repentance re mm -hmm. back going back you know what that's man? it kind because we was backsliding children <laughs> you know what i'm saying kind you read a little bit more on that? Oh, you got something? Um, yeah, well, not, not really. I was just going to make a, a point, too. Oh, it's uh, like you. you got it. Not because we already brought out the first precept, you know, First Peter 2 and 2, desire the sincere milk of the word, you know? And what stood out was the, the word. You know, how shy is the word? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. desire the sincere milk mm -hmm. of the word, you yep. know? That's the same as we brought out in uh, Hebrew 6, yep. you know, the doctrine of Hamashiach. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So a little well, you know, uh, you know, anyone has the ears to hear, we see like piece of upon piece of this is how you grow, you know. Mm. So you know, just a little refreshing. Kind brother, no, that was, yeah, that's a great point. Kind. Keep going. Yeah, Baba Kasha. This is uh, back in Hebrews five and uh, thirteen. Mm -hmm. It says, "For every one that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness." Mm. For he is a babe. Mm, so everyone that uses of milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because he's not, he doesn't know how to exercise within righteousness. You know what I'm saying? Fully. You know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't have what, uh, what uh, is contained within righteousness. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have, you know, the faith, the mercy, the joy, the love, the peace, the meekness, the the, the long suffering, you know, the, chari the charity, you know, these, these certain things. He's still learning how to, you know, contain these ter cer certain type of uh, qualities, you know, so he's he, he's unskillful, you know, in, in the word of righteousness. He's, he, he's unskillful within uh, the, the, the the body of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. He is not fully coming to that body yet. You know, he's he's uh, he's being vetted. He's like a uh, he's a novice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's a novice. That's that's what a novice is. Someone who's um, unskillful within uh, the basic principles and oracles of the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, mm. for he's a babe, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yep. Kind of. I was just looking at the other versions, but uh, that's fine. Kinda. I only got a few, so. Kinda. Good job to, uh. You could have read 14 too. Right? Oh, kind of, verse 14. This is uh, Hebrews 5 and 14, but. Strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Come So this is, all right, something that you want to uh, be able to get to this point, you know? It says to them that are of full age, that's what strong meat belongeth to, you know? We're not just uh, using, okay, milk, you know? Now it's like, all right, we're able to actually... You know, use a strong meat, which we know this is likened into the philosophies, you know, things that we're digesting. You know, scriptures talk about um, you know, how this thing is a you eat the roll. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is this is actual meat, that food for thought lesson mm -hmm. we do. Yep. <laughs> you know? Yep. So it says here, but strong meat belongs to them that are full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercises to discern both good and evil. They know proper judgment. Proper judgment, <laughs> man. Yep. Like being prudent, man. Yep. Having that having that wisdom. Like Solomon prayed, all right, to to, to discern good and evil. Mm. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That, that's a prayer for wisdom. So that's something that uh only those are a full age, all right, will be able to do that. You mm. know, but first we have to, you know, get that sincere milk, you know, to grow. 
Yep, which ultimately is that wisdom that's from above. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's without partiality, full of good fruits, without partial, uh, without hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, full of full of peace. <laughs> you know, easy to be entreated. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's the that's the ba that's the basic principle. That's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You know, and then you well to 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 uh, understanding is to part from evil. You know, that's how you get that ultimate discernment to be able to make proper judgment. Mm -hmm. You know. God, because there's a lot of things that could be uh, stumbling blocks. You yeah. know, that's why you want to be built up in this thing. You uh -huh. know, you want to you want to have have that faith. You want to know, all right, uh, what's what. You know, yep. you want to know fear the Lord. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's the beginning of knowledge and wisdom. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. a lot of things you're not gonna be able to discern good and evil if if we're not built up. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're God. gonna look at things and we'll be able to you know be swayed a little bit. Yep. You know. God. That's how we know. You know, if if you're still a babe, which we're really kind of still babes man we're, we're, we actually should be babes in a certain way yeah you know what i'm saying yep we should we should be humble like babes yep <laughs> not not childish like yeah, <laughs> like right. children though God. yeah what's the precept i think it's like psalms should i do i think it's like psalms 8 i'm gonna make sure i'll be soft you know so like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah psalms 8 and 2 yeah just yeah, real God, not it's the book of Psalms, chapter 8, in verse 2. It says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so out of the mouth of, of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained, ordained strength. You know what I'm saying? So like you said, in the sense, we are really all babes. You know, we're, we're supposed to be babes within the form. You know, of course, we're, we're supposed to grow, but... Our mind state is supposed to still have that pure, purity and innocence about us. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, <laughs> that right. That moral goodness. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. we, we shouldn't be like a baby who 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 doesn't grow. <laughs> just, just, just a baby. You just yeah. baby forever. Yeah, like, God, yeah. No. Like, f f 15 years later, you're still a baby? Yeah. <laughs> One of them... Uh, <laughs> Like Esau be doing, you know, he be having Big a ass baby. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Pampers, grown ass man. <laughs> it's fucking wild, you know. No, not in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just within the, you know, the way we're thinking, because that's that's mm -hmm. that's how the that's how the spirit that's embodied within the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Having that just that purity and that innocence. You know what I'm saying? That that virtue, that being virtuous. You know, being humble. You know, mm -hmm. having that humility. You know, kind being clothed with humility. You know. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, those are just bad, you know, make your point up real quick. I don't know. I was thinking of a, a lesson earlier. I, was, I think I'll call it um, examine our knowledge. Mm -hmm. Somewhere along our lines, you know, scriptures talk about examining ourselves. Mm -hmm. You want to examine our knowledge, you know, uh, examine the things that we know. Like, are the things we know, how do we learn them? Like, mm -hmm. certain things, like I was telling you about the word Baba Kasha. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm trying to find out what that that word is that in the hebrew in the scripture <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i i, I can't find it. if anybody's listening can find it, you know baba kasha yeah, you know that's just we're we just a habit you know what i'm saying things we know yeah. through the spirit baba kasha that's just it, we 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 have a, we place a, a, a word to it now you know what i'm saying okay. but how do we learn that so yeah. we want to you know what i'm saying we wanna, really want to renew our minds mm -hmm. truly examine our our thoughts and mm -hmm. things that we know and make sure those things are true it's mm -hmm. a lot Yep. Yeah, you want to do part two, Lord God, willing. Yeah, we might not get through this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so let me jump to, yeah, the, next one. to the next one. Kind of. This is uh, Second Peter chapter 1. And we'll get 5 through 8. Kind of. It says... This is the key. This is what you got. This is what you got. Like, this, this, this is like key in your growth. You know what I'm saying? This is like a uh, pivotal, in, like, so you don't have a uh, stunted growth. You know? <laughs> kind of. You mind if I start at four? Yeah, you got it, brother. Second Peter two, Second Peter one and verse four, it says, "Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust." Mm -hmm. You know, reminds me of the scriptures we brought out already. You know, laying aside malice. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Continuing on, verse 5, and beside this... And then it's like it said, being partakers of the divine nature. That means you're yeah. growing into a certain uh, peak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kind. A lesson I did recently, I went to that word, kind of uh, what we did before. Mm -hmm. We went on Google, mm -hmm. and that divine nature... 
yeah, just for the sake of time, time, it just goes into us being godlike, mm -hmm. you know, ha us being higher than humans, all right, but having a, a trait, you know, of God. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that's something that, I mean, you got to grow to get to that point. Right. God, <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Yep. To, to be able to, you know, be God body within the flesh. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Because you, you have a divine nature. Because, you know, you have uh, the children of disobedience who, who uh, I mean, are the children of wrath by nature. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you could be, by nature, you could be the children of wrath or the children of obedience, you know, which are ultimately those who embody that divine nature. You know? Mm-hmm. God not. That's the word <clears throat> Christians say, Godhead. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's all I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you get that word divine. It's the same word that's used uh, for Godhead. Oh, God. well, that proves what we were just talking about, too, about uh, just having that mind of a, that mind of a baby. You know what I'm saying? That, pur that purity and that innocence, you know, that moral goodness, that, vir that, that virtue, you know, that fortitude, you know, that's the, uh, that's ultimately having, that's, that's, that's having a mind of a babe. You know, mm. having no 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 evil or malicious or within, maliciousness within your intent. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let all things be done for edification. God, not. It says, "Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust." Mm. And those exceeding great and precious promises are really ultimately them gifts that's been given. Unto man by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, which uh, pertain unto everlasting life, man. You know, mm -hmm. those those exceeding and great promises, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. what our uh, what our Lord said, He's gonna leave us a comforter, peace. Mm -hmm. He leaves with us, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna leave us with the weight, you know, he's not gonna leave us. What did he say? I, I'm not gonna leave you, be of good cheer, because I'm gonna be in the world with you. And uh you you have overcome tribulation, you know. Like our Lord has not left us, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And through and through Him we have precious promises and exceeding in precious promises, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's and that's how we escape the corruption that's in the world, you know. Mm. So that's heavy through lust, you know, because mm -hmm. our Lord He's overcome the world, you know. Mm. Mm. Verse five, and beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. And to virtue, knowledge. Mm -hmm. And to knowledge, temperance. And to temperance, patience. And to patience, godliness. And to godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, charity. Mm -hmm. uh, keep going? Yeah, just read eight. It says, For if these things be in you and abound, they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So this is, these are the key components. These these ba basically embody uh, the uh, the doctrine of a Mashiach, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the the foundation, <laughs> the foundations and the in the basic principles uh, of the doctrine of of Yahweh Shah, you know. This this really pretty much embodies that, you know. what I'm saying this is how you abound um, and, and be fruitful unto that uh, divine that divine creature. You know, this is how you become that new creature created. Uh, after the image of the uh, heavenly Father, you know this. This this is how you do it right here. You know, it's by adding, you know, faith to your virtue, knowledge to your virtue, you know, temperance to your knowledge, patience to your temperance, godliness to your patience, you know, brotherly kindness to your godliness, you know, charity into your brotherly kindness. You know, this is this is how you always are going to have growth. You know, this is how you're going to always be fruitful. You know, this this is what it's uh, all about right here, man. You know, but it tell you in verse nine, but he that can't, who lacks these things, they can't see it far off because they have forgotten that they were purged from their own sins. You know, so they have not, uh, they have not embodied those basic principles of Yahweh Shai, which, you know, contains mercy, you know, and truth and, you know, compassion and love and charity. You know what I'm saying? So they can't grow, you know, because they're still, they're still stuck on that, uh, on that old wave, man, you know? They haven't even grown to a sincere babe yet. They're still an embryo, you know? Mm. <laughs> Damn. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um. Get the next one. Uh, 
this is in uh, Philippians 1 <clears throat> in verse 4. Kind of Philippians, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Philippians 1 and 4 says, Always in every prayer of mine for you, all making requests with joy for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it <clears throat> until the day of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. Verse 7, it says, Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, this is uh, Philippians 1 and 7, Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in mine heart, and as much as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye are all partakers of my grace. Mm -hmm. For God is my record, how greatly... I long after you, Slaki, and read that again. For you, how about how shy is my uh, record, record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. It says, In this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of. So, this uh, Apostle Paul shows you that, uh, you know, well, first and foremost, make a request. You know what I'm saying? Um, unto uh, the, the church, you know, make a request uh, unto the saints within prayer and supplication, you know, is a part of, uh, you know, uh, you know, being at a certain type of level, you know, uh, you know, being a mediator and an intercessor for the saints. You know, that's 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 a key thing. And then, and then also, uh, um, you know, wanting growth in others is a key uh, essential key, uh, key essential uh, part within your growth as well. You know, um, Wanting, uh, wanting good for others and wanting others to receive growth, you know, through the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, uh, having a uh, confirmation, uh, having confirmation of the gospel and the defense of it, you know, um, with, with, uh, you know, knowing that there's others, uh, whom, whom are also in your bonds, you know, which Yahweh Shah Mashiach is record, takes record of that, you know, in verse eight, you know, that we should long after others. Um, goodness through the bowels of the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Then it tell you in verse nine that uh you know we're supposed to uh pray um that the love of each other abounds more and more in it all judgment. You know, so that's that's key. You know, that's 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 whom those that's that's the, to those who are of a full age. You know, those who are constantly letting their love abound one toward another, one toward another. And uh, you know, constantly, constantly are growing within knowledge and in all judgment. You know, that's that's those whom uh, have gotten to a certain type of level. This is what Apostle Paul was praying that the saints could get to to a point where they can continually let their love abound towards each other and constantly let their judgment uh, grow and their knowledge grow. You know, the knowledge of goodness mm -hmm. and righteousness. You know, mm -hmm. so this is key. You know, within being in a certain type of stage of growth, wanting growth for others, and also. Um, getting to a point of growth where you can constantly grow in, 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 within uh, the traits uh, that you know our Lord want us to grow in. Mm. You know, mm. kind of. Yep. Because again, you know, um, the uh, the sincere milk of the, the sincere milk of the word. You know, that's something that we should be desiring. You know what I'm saying? But on top of that, it's a. Uh, I mean, that the word alone. <laughs> It's it's a it's a stumbling block, you know. It, mm -hmm. it could be a stumbling block. So really, rightly dividing the word, you know what I'm saying. Okay. That's how, and really filtering it, you know what I'm yep. saying, through the spirit, yep. knowing what kind of spirit you know we should be, and we can know in the law something is lawful, but is it expedient? Right. Is it edifying? You yep. know what I'm saying. And that's something that Lord willing, we was men, we're gonna be able to grow abounding within that, you know. Mm -hmm. Make proper judgments. Make proper judgment call. Yep. Uh, give verse 10 uh, Yeah kind of, Yep It says verse 10 That ye may approve things That are excellent mm. That ye may be sincere And without offense Till the day of Hamashiach Oh you see Right there It's a lot We yeah. should have got there But <laughs> we even just said What we just said You know That back up completely What you just said You know what I'm saying That we may be approved And excellent You know what I'm saying uh, mm -hmm. uh, Acceptable Before the most high You know what I'm saying Why because we've been Making our bodies A living sacrifice Through our actions you know what I'm saying? So that's good. That's that's what makes us approved. You know, uh, and we read on the side, so like you. Yep. 
It says Philippians 1 and 10 that ye may approve things that are excellent, mm -hmm. that ye may be sincere and without offense to the day of Hamashiach. Oh, so that we may be approved before the Azi Habashimasha and that we may approve uh uh the things that are excellent before Yahweh Masha, not only uh be able to prove the things that the Heavenly Father may, you know, uh not necessarily deem as transgression, but also the things that the Heavenly Father just doesn't want us involved in simply right now. You know what I'm saying? Or doesn't you know, that that things that don't accompany salvation, you know? Mm hmm That's that's uh you know, that's what that's where we need to be grown to. We need to be able to be grown to a point where we know the thing all things that are excellent in the eyes of Yahweh Shim Not things mm -hmm. that just may not be deemed transgression, you know. <laughs> right. You know? Because it's the sincere milk of the word. And the key word sincere. You uh, know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That goes into uh, true. Let me see. Yep. Definitely. Sincere. It says pure yep. uh, in this verse, Philippians mm. one and ten. Pure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. So the the milk of the word that that's pure. You know, that's an emphasis. It's not just any old milk. <laughs> it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? That skim milk or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? God. It ain't uh just you know not milk, man. It's it's real. It's true milk, man. Yep. Something that's really gonna let us grow. God. Like uh, we make mention a lot, you know, because brothers go into you know particular things in the scriptures. That's not really uh, edifying. Mm. It's not something that's, uh, you know, accompanying salvation. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's something we want to, uh, <laughs> you know, examine our knowledge, you know? Let it slide you. Yep. Um, uh, yep. Yep. Get the next one. Okay, bro. We probably only be able to get, like, maybe one or two more. Kind of want to run through these. Oh. Let's see. Okay, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 6. It says, But this I say, He which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, now, like we just read in Philippians, the first chapter, you got to be making uh, requests and supplications and prayers for other saints, man. You got to be hoping the best for, for other saints. You got to be believing mm -hmm. all other things for other saints. Why? Because this is how... You're gonna, uh, Yahweh Shemashah is gonna endure and believe all things for you. You know, this is how he's gonna make supplications for you. Just like Yahweh Shemashah said in Mark the 8th chapter, those who are ashamed of me, you know, I'm gonna be ashamed of him before the Father. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's the same concept. You know what I'm saying? Being ashamed of, of, of Yahweh Shemashah don't necessarily just mean you're not confessing him because you're not going out on the streets and teaching him or telling somebody you believe in him. No, it is being ashamed of him is uh, being ashamed to operate within the spirit that he was operating in. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's being ashamed of him. You know. So if you if you if you don't wanna uh, if you don't wanna sow if you sow sparingly you gonna reap sparingly, man. You know. If you if you giving out grace if you're administering grace then you're gonna be administered grace. You know. So this this is a a key a key point in in, in growth of those who are full age. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says verse seven, every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. So yeah, about Shemash, I like cheerful cheerful givers. We have to be givers. We have to be giving. You know what I'm saying? We can't be holding back. You know what I'm saying? Who, who the hell are you, man? You know? If you're trying to hold something back, you're not a full age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could be like, oh, I'm full of that, full age, so I only want, I'm only gonna give you what you can get, what you can have right now. No, that's not <laughs> what being a full age is. No, those who are a full age, they're gonna they're gonna give not grudgingly. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna give of necessity because they know it's needful. You know that's what it's talking about when they say feed the sheep. You know, supply the soul's requisites. You know for what they need, man. Our people need love, mercy, compassion. They need faith. You know, they need charity. You know, these are the things that you got to instill into them and give to them, you know? Because why? Because it's a necessity. And that's what Yahweh Shema Shah loves. He don't want to buy, oh, I, man, I got to do this. I got to be like this towards these niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, you, do, you don't want to be in that spirit of, like, giving it to somebody just because you have to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to do it. So, you know, whatever. Kind. <laughs> You haven't, uh, you ain't got the basic uh, principles of Yahweh Shai. You know what I'm saying? Like compassion, mercy. Like you don't have that instilled in you. You know purity. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
verse 8, it says, And Yahabashim Hasha is able to make all grace abound toward you. That yea. <laughs> yeah. It says, read that again. It says, And Yahabashim Hasha is able to make all grace abound toward you. Mm -hmm. That yea, always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. You see? So that's how you abound unto every good work is by you uh, abounding in every good work by being a cheerful uh, giver. You know, that's how you abound in every good work by being happy to do it, not just doing it, but like sincerely wanting to do it. You know, having that truth, mm -hmm. you know, loving truth, buying truth and selling it not, you know. Right. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. So when you give to the poor, that's how your righteousness remain forever. Like it says in the 17th chapter, the arms. Of a man is his sick is like a sickness with Yahweh by Shema So that's the signifying factor of a man. You know what I'm saying? It's his arms, his charity, you know. Mm -hmm. Now he that minister of seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food and multiply your seed sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. Mm. Being enriched in everything to all bountifulness, which caused through us, thanksgiving to Yahabashim Haushai. Yeah, because it tell you what Sirach the 40th chapter, bountifulness is the most fruitful garden. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. charity, that love, that benevolence, that, that 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 mercy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's uh that increases unto the fruits of righteousness, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So that's why it's so important for us to continue to uh, embody these things and, and move like this. Why? Because it's gonna increase us into the ultimate fruits of righteousness, and gonna also, you know, ultimately, Yahabashim Hashem is gonna in increase us into those, uh, to those righteous, to the righteous. Fuck, got a closey, man. <sighs> they hoes, man. Yeah. Verse twelve says, "For the administration of the service not only supplieth the want of the saints, but is abundant also by many thanksgivings." Until you have Bashim mm -hmm. Yeah, for the administration of this service not only supply the want of the saints, but is abundant also by many thanksgivings unto you have Bashim So this is a uh, also this is this is needful of uh, this is uh, of necessity for the uh, needs and wants of the saints, but it also uh, gives us uh, bring forth sacrifices unto you have Bashim That's how you make your body a living sacrifice. You know, this also is something that heaven, the heavenly Father could be thank worthy of. You know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Thank God. Here, Dave, trying to play you, boy. <laughs> yeah, I might get you to move my joint out a little bit closer. Oh, kind of. Yep. Trust these demons out here. So, like, yeah. Oh, no. Folly. Yeah. <laughs> you know it got to come. Got to come. Yep. Uh, no one, you know, points being made, God. you know. This is uh, this is how you grow, man. You know, truly grow. Got you know, Lord willing, you know we're we're, uh, we're growing in this thing, man, and Got continue it. to grow. Got it, baby. Get the next Let's one. Let's just get two more and then go right. Okay. Get the next one. Got it. Okay. This is in First uh, Corinthians three verse nine. Okay. It says, "For we are labors together with Yahweh Bashim Shai. Yea, are Yahweh Shem Hashai's husbandry. Yea, are Yahweh Shem Hashai's building. You got it, Khan, you know? So, you know, low willing, again, low willing with those men, man. You know, we're, we're the husbandry, which, uh, get that word in the Greek. It goes into a cultivated field, husbandry, tillage. You know? So, hey, man, we're talking about, you know, uh, I mean, first and foremost, you know, our people, the Israelites, you know, but being a true Israelite, you know, Israel goes into being the prince of the power, you know what I'm saying? So to be truly Yahweh Shabbat husbandry, you know what I'm saying? But you got, it goes into doing particular things, you know? And so, you know, all through the spirit of power, Yahweh Shabbat Shah, he, he, he gives the increase, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. He sends the increase. So for us to grow, it's only from the most high yep. doing that, you know, us, uh, you know, like we read the last scripture, going into sowing, yeah, kind sowing of. sparingly, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, yeah. So if, if you if you want Yahweh Shemashah to sow into your growth, if you want him to sow into your growth, then you better be sowing into others' growth. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> yep, that's how you can be children of the highest. Kind of, because Most High is all about growth. Kind of. So if you're not all about growth, 
then what's that make you? <laughs> uh, uh, anti much, yeah. Straight, straight up, man. Yeah. Show them up. Show them up. Yeah, Got the brother Radha here. We just wrapping it up. Um, I was on that. Uh, yeah, that's uh, we might as well try to run into the brother get help. I thought that was a uh, Karaf. Oh, kind of <laughs> pulling yeah, up yeah, his fucking like Esau. <laughs> I see Esau. Oh, like, yeah, that's not my bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look different, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. A little uh, little leprosy going on. Yeah. Get that Sirach thirty nine. God. Sirach thirty nine in verse thirteen. Pull it up. So like, yes. All right. So Rock thirty nine, another one on fire, fire chapters. Mm. All the yeah. Way through, you know. What I mean? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yep. So Rock thirty nine, verse thirteen, it says, "Hearken unto me, ye holy children, and bud forth as a rose growing by the brook of the field." You see, so it says, "Hearken unto me, ye holy children, ye separate children." Man. How you become a separate children, right? Because you're not uh, laying again the foundation of dead works, man. You know, and of repentance, man. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you not, uh, uh, you're not being baptized over and over and over again. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you've ultimately uh, came into the spirit of our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, and they're, and they're growing therein. You know, says, "Hearken unto me, ye holy, holy, holy children, and bud forth as a rose growing by the brook of the field." You know what I'm saying? So that's how you broke, that's how you, uh, that's how you bud forth. You know what I'm saying? It's by being obedient unto the word of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. You know? Mm -hmm. We have to give him, we have, we have to, uh, give him all our time so we can grow expeditiously, expeditiously mm -hmm. you know? Mm. So hearkening unto him, taking heed unto him, and every thought, every action, every word, you know, that's how, uh, you know, we, we bud forth. You know, quickly, and, 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 you know, speed, speedly. You know, it's like that, uh, like extra protein, protein gain. You know what I'm saying? Or a weight gain supplement. You know. Mhm. Mm kind of a side note, Salakia. Yeah. There you go. If you jump up to verse 12, it says, "Yet have I more to say, which I have thought upon, for I am filled as the moon at the full." Mm. It's just a side note. It just. It's a good scripture to point out the the full moon and the new moon. Mm -hmm. This is a, a, a full moon. Is what we would call a full moon. Some camps would say the the full moon's a new moon, mm -hmm. and vice versa. But nah, you know what I'm saying. The moon at its full, it is it's filled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yep. That's, ultimate growth. That's ultimate. That's growth. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's right. Complete. Yep. Yep. Um, kind of you get that in Psalm 92. I get it. Sounds like two and thirteen. Actually, we starting at twelve, right? Okay. Okay. Sounds like two and twelve. It says, "The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree; he shall grow like a cedar in uh, Lebanon." Yeah. So pronounce that right. Lebanon. Lebanon. Uh, and the Hebrews, Lebanon. It says, verse 13, let me read 12 again. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our power. Con, you know? So we're going to have to hearken, man. We're going to have to hearken to you. How about Shemal Shah, man? That, that's basically how, how we are going to truly grow, man. Expeditiously, you know, that's how that's how we grow. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we understand. Hey, Most High, He 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 is man. Anything that exists, okay, that that's the Most High. All right, Most High Spirit, and uh, was it uh, Wisdom twelve and one? His incorruptible Spirit is in all things. So the only way that we can actually flourish, you know, is if it's uh, through the Spirit power. How about Shemash Shai? Yeah, you know that uh, I got. Let me bring out one more before we wrap up. Uh, 
uh, mm -hmm. get three uh, relationships very good. Because you see in uh, Psalms 92 and 13, it said, those that be planted in the house of the Lord, Yahweh yeah, Shemesh, that shall flourish in the courts of our power. Mm -hmm. So let's read this right here. Kind of Revelation 3 and 12. Mm -hmm. Him that overcome this, will I make a pillar in the temple of my power, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my power, and I will write upon him my new name. So he's grown into that divine being. You know what I'm saying? I will write upon him my new name. He has become that divine being, that new nature. He has become uh, New Jerusalem. He has become the city of that power. You know what I'm saying? That's why he's going to be made a temp, a pillar in the temple of my power. Because he's he's ultimately flourished. He's flourishing in the courts of Yahweh Shemel Shah. Literally. So that's literally what that translates into when you uh when you when you grow within uh righteousness unto the point of uh that divine being, you know, which is uh you know, ultimately becoming a joint heir with Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. Mm. That's really like an ending point. <laughs> but I had a couple more pre's, you know, so Lord willing if the spirit, you know. Yeah. You know, it's through a kind. Okay, so with that, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel, peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim, enduring afflictions, making their calling, and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. DTA.